Hey boys and girls, Mr. Cordova here once again um, bringing you guys uh, another science video. This video is going to be about uh, science lab tools. Okay, so the first tool that we're going to be talking about is going to be a protective mask. So you guys see the mask right here? This is a protective mask. If you're doing, if you like doing woodworking or things like that, you should wear a mask to protect yourself. And even though, even right now, when you, whenever you guys go out, you should wear a mask. So a protective mask protects from breathing in any kind of bad stuff. Okay? Very simple. Moving on to the next tool. The next tool is going to be a compass. Now a compass is used for navigation. And here is a compass. You see how it's always pointing north? That Well, it's pointing east that way right there. Okay? And you see how it is always pointing in the same direction, no matter which way I point it. This is a compass. It's going to show you north, south, east, and the west. Let's put that one to the side. Let's move on. Let's get some tongs, okay? So these are going to be some tongs. We're probably not going to use this too much in the science lab, but we're going to still talk about it, okay? A tong is used to hold test tubes above a Bunsen burner. All right, so here, instead of holding the test tube like this, when you're trying to heat up some kind of solution, what you're supposed to do is grab you some tongs like these, give it a good squeeze in the middle, and bam. And then you hold this above the fire, okay? So you guys will learn more about this in the middle school and high school, okay? So test tube. Got a little cork. Cork comes from a tree, the cork tree, and then we have the tongs. Okay, let's put those to the side. Those are tongs. Oh, test tube. Here we go. I already have it. Made of glass. This is definitely made of glass. If I drop it, it's gonna break. And it's used to mix solutions, so you can mix solutions. And you can also heat up solutions. Now, we're definitely not going to grab it with our hands. We're going to use our tongs. All right, let's put that one right onto the side over there. Next one, spring scale. So um, a spring scale is going to be used to measure in newtons. This is a spring scale. It measures in newtons. The units are newtons. And it has grams in case if you want to weigh something. So this is a um, spring scale and it uses newtons. Newtons is a measure of force. Okay, so I want you guys to know that it's a measure of force. This is called a spring scale. Okay, and newtons is a unit of force. And this right here is telling you, it says, it's a little experiment, it says hook your backpack into the spring scale. How many newtons of force does it take to lift your backpack? So that could be an experiment that we can do in the science lab soon, okay? Using a spring scale. Moving on, graduated cylinder. A graduated cylinder is a tall, skinny container used to measure liquids. So I have a big graduated cylinder. This one is a thousand milliliters. It's huge, it's really big. And then I have the baby graduated cylinder. And this one is 10 milliliters. Tiny, tiny, tiny. 25 one. 25 milliliters. And then also have a 100 milliliter test tube. Not test tube, I'm sorry. Graduated cylinder. And um, these come in different sizes, as you guys can see. There's a hundred, a ten, I think there is actually a five, I don't have the five. And there is a thousand, so a thousand is the big papa, and then the mama, graduated cylinders. Let's put those to the side, and it measures the volume of a liquid, so how much it is taking up, okay? So measuring the volume. Next one, pipette. What is a pipette? Hmm. And background. Yes, I do have some. So a pipette. 
This right here is a pipette and it's used to squeeze. You press down on this and as you're pressing down and you put it inside the liquid and then you let go, it sucks up the liquid. So let's go ahead and test it out. It's a small tool you'll use to measure and transfer small amounts of liquid. So I have a solution right here. Okay, I have like a light peach type color solution. I know this is red food coloring in the water, so I'm not too worried about what type of chemical this is. Also, I'm not wearing gloves. I should be wearing gloves. Safety first, right? But I know this is water and food coloring. So let's go ahead and grab some. And you can see it did pull up some water and you can actually pour down droplets. And you can measure out exactly how much to use. So this is a pipette, tiny tool made out of plastic. And you can also squeeze right here, like squeeze, squeeze it down, put it inside the water, let go. It sucks it up like a straw. There are some that are made out of glass. The tip would be made out of glass. And then this would be made out of rubber. Um, I don't have any of those. They're back in at school. But I will try to grab some of those next time I go to school. Okay, so I'll, let's put that one to the side. That is the pipette. Thank you, pipette. Next one. Measuring tape. Some of you guys have this measuring tape at home. In science, we're going to use meters, not inches. So this is inches. These are centimeters, meters, and we're going to be using meters in science. Okay, so it's a flexible tool used to measure what? It's going to measure what? Go ahead. Length. Repeat after me. Length. I'm trying to make the video interactive, even though um, I'm in, in the classroom by myself, but it's okay. Let's... Working on it together. All right, so measuring tape, put that to the side, throw that over there. What's next? Can y'all see that? Used to protect the eyes while conducting experiments. So safety goggles. That is one thing I forgot to get from the science lab. Goggles, but guess what? I do have my safety glasses. These are the safety glasses that I do wear whenever I'm working outside or doing some kind of you know, woodwork, and I do want to protect my eyes, and these are my safety glasses. Oh, that's that's cool. You see the light? It's awesome. All right, so safety glasses, safety first, and they have scratch marks all over them. I don't know if you guys can see it. There's some crazy scratch marks on there. I would have been scratched and hit in the eyes so many times if it wasn't for the safety glasses to protect me, okay? And they, they are also made out of plastic. It's not glass. It looks like glass. It is plastic. If it was glass, that would have broken. Okay, let's put that to the side. What's next? Ooh, magnifying glass. Used to look at objects up close. What is this? This is a magnifying glass. Let's see if this works. Hmm, yeah, that kind of works. Use to see an object up close. Okay, so this is a magnifying glass. I don't know if you guys can see my big eye. I don't know if you can see. It's kind of hard, okay? So magnifying glass, another tool we're going to be using a lot whenever we do investigations outside. A magnet. Now, this is a picture of a... Typical looking magnet used to attract objects made of iron or steel. This right here is a magnet. It may not look like a magnet, like the one in the picture, but trust me, it's a magnet. Look. It attracts. Keyword, attracts. So that is a magnet. Very cool. Next one is going to be a beaker. Now, beakers, very similarly to graduated cylinders, 
They come in different shapes and sizes. I have two of them here, they, and they can also be made out of glass. I don't know if I mentioned that graduated cylinders could also be made out of glass, but they can, okay? So graduated cylinders can also be made out of glass. These two are plastic. They also have measurements, and they go by milliliters, liters, and um, I think just milliliters and liters. That's what we're going to be using in the science lab. Moving on, a thermometer. Actually, I actually have a thermometer right here on the wall, so let me take this off. That is a thermometer. Now, a thermometer, most of you guys already know. What does a thermometer measure? Measures temperature. And the unit we're going to be using? Celsius. Not Fahrenheit, Celsius. I also have another thermometer. It is the what? What is this? What kind of thermometer is this? I think you guys have seen this one where you, it's like the laser thermometer, um, infrared thermometer, all right? So you point, the, you point the light at someone's forehead and you see if their temperature is good. Okay, next one. What is that? That is a journal. Where is my journal? Here it is over here. Now, I have a journal. This is my science notebook, my science journal, journal, and it's used to write down different types of information, findings about your investigations and your experiments. So this is gonna be my handy dandy journal, science notebook. Moving on, we're almost done. Ruler, you guys know what a ruler is. Made out of plastic. Also used to measure what? Measure distance, how far something is. And the units we're gonna be using is milli, what? Millimeters and meters. So those are the units that we're gonna be using. Don't forget about units. Units are very important. Um, Celsius milliliters, liters, meters, kilometers, so forth and so forth. Okay, um, let's see, we have a balance. Now the balance is gonna be kind of big, so I'm gonna try, try and make some space with all these science tools. Bring this balance over here. Can y'all see that? That's pretty big, it's okay. All right, so this is a balance. And it's used to measure the weight and the unit we're going to be using, don't forget, grams. Grams and kilograms, okay? It's really loud too, and heavy. So this is the balance. Microscope. Used to view things that cannot be seen with the naked eye. So some things you can see with your eye, but the tiny, 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 tiny microscopic things you cannot see. So you must use a microscope. And I have, I have a microscope actually. It's really big as well. And heavy, oof. That is the microscope. I'm holding it to the side, but that's okay right here and this is an electrical one as well that you, I can connect to my laptop so this is the microscope really really heavy but that's inside Ugh. um there's another balance I don't have a card for it oh that's journal I don't have a card for it but I want you guys to see it especially my fifth graders you guys will probably see that on the star test, and we're going to practice using it, okay? This is called the triple beam balance. It's got grams, grams, grams. Triple. One, two, three, okay? And it's uh, used to measure the weight of heavy things, okay? So this is a triple beam balance. Triple beam balance. Very heavy. Okay, and a couple of, I have three more things. This right here is a flask. 
and I can put different solutions inside the flask. Then I can put it on top of the hot plate, which I didn't get to share with you guys, but I'll share in a second. All right, so this is a flask. This is made out of glass. And it goes up to 200 milliliters. Another science tool, measuring cup. We're gonna be measuring a lot. You can use a measuring cup. Most of the time we're gonna be talking, I mean using um, beakers. But if it gets too big, we'll probably use a measuring cup. Okay, and I think, yeah, it has 500 milliliters. This one only goes up to 250. So two of these equals one of these. Two of these, one of these. All right. Next one, we have a funnel. These are funnels. And it's used to make small mouths, this is the mouth, into a bigger mouth. That way you won't spill anything. See? You have a small mouth to make it into a bigger mouth. It's a science tool. And there are also glass funnels, but I don't have any. It's okay. And this one has a longer, longer straw or mouth, whatever you want to call it. So there you go. This is called a what? Funnel. This is a funnel. Okay. Put that to the side. And let's get here it is. This is the hot plate. Now it looks like a stove. Mr. Cordova, did you tear up and break your stove in half? In fourth? Mm, no, I didn't. Okay, so this is the hot plate and it's got a dial on the side. And you can put it to low, to number one, two, three, four, and then very high. So this is the hot plate. And then you can put the flask on top to warm up different types of solutions. Or if you want to boil something. We're going to be boil, boiling stuff in the, in the uh, science lab, but I'll be doing that. Okay, so you guys can see the dial, and this is a hot plate. It looks like a stove. And um, I think that's it for today. If you have any questions, you guys can message me through Teams. Um, thanks for watching the video. I greatly appreciate it. I'm trying to make them more entertaining. The next video is going to talk about force and motion. We're going to be using some of these tools coming up in the next video. So if you guys enjoyed the video, go ahead, comment, rate, like, and subscribe. Um, I don't know if you can comment. I don't think you can comment, but it's okay. Go ahead, subscribe, and check out the rest of the videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.